going to need a word. Can we please have a word, something that makes you feel good? Talcum powder. Babies. What was that? Talcum powder. Talcum powder is the first thing I heard, so talcum powder will be our suggestion, and we are just the funny. <laughs> You took my talcum powder. <laughs> I know it was you. I be missing you, baby. <laughs> Every time you come in here into my bathroom, <laughs> you make me remind myself of how I used to be an attendant. And now I'm a high roller. <laughs> what I don't understand is why you took my talcum powder. You know my niece gave it to me. Because you are not keeping your bathroom the way that it is supposed to be. <laughs> Look, his towels, they are not perfect. Now they are. <laughs> <laughs> my butt is full with a rash. <laughs> Where is my talcum powder? Hold on. Nahik. <laughs> talcum. Thank you. De nada. <laughs> you really keep a decent bathroom other than these towels. <laughs> I'm not a dirty whore like I used to be. <laughs> Those days are over. <laughs> <laughs> and we are over. Again? Again. I can't believe you're doing this to me again. 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 30 second time. <laughs> 37 times. You go out in and out of my life, only to come back in and then go out of my life. And now they're walking in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out of my bathroom. And I don't want it. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Thomas, you hired me to be your general contractor. I said that. And I'll be happy to fix anything up for you in your house here. But I just don't think a McDonald's swirly slide makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> I had a duty to be my general contractor. You did? I signed paperwork. I have workers' compensation insurance. But I haven't been able to steal a McDonald's swirly slide yet. <laughs> so I don't have the part that's crucial to the operation. You're always doing this. All you need to do is put in a swirly slide. That's all you're being paid to do, and, and you can't even do that. You, you disappoint me yet again. I don't understand why we keep putting you in this position. Thomas, the last thing I want to do is disappoint you. I just want to build our relationship together as neighbors. I'll come in and build something for you, and you can do a nice floral pattern on my living room. <laughs> I have been in your living room before, and let me tell you, a floral pattern is not going to help. <laughs> a floral pattern might make it a little bit prettier, Pretty! But covering your entire living room floor with cat litter may offset the prettiness a little bit. <laughs> Thomas, I'm a cat man. <laughs> I feel as though gender shouldn't be descript to only have cat ladies. I never mentioned gender. I'm actually very accepting of your gender. I see that Being you're a man. man. I know that you're a man. You are a man. man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether I should check on you or not, because in these times, if I... Sir. Sir, I want... I, uh, Malcolm, I know you, but I just want to make sure that I, I have to follow the rules that are in my CPR guide. Damn it, call me sir! Sir, are you currently experiencing a heart attack, chest pains, or in other forms of abdominal slash chestular distress? <laughs> God, just do something! Just do something! I'm trying. I'm going down the steps, sir. You need to answer the question first. Yes! Yes, okay, step number two. Do you currently have an emergency ID bracelet 
and or some form of identification that will state the nature of your currently and pre-existing condition. No! I have an app, though, on my phone. Sir, can you pull out your phone? I left it in my car. It's in the parking lot. It's four rows down, three cars over. It's a red Prius. Okay, I'll be right back. This wasn't on the chart. Do you have your keys? <laughs> Two dollars. Two dollars. Thank you. Three dollars. You just gave me two. And now I need three. <laughs> Thank you. That's a twenty dollar bill. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You have a Japanese sword? <laughs> yeah, at home. Okay. What do you want to know about a Japanese sword? Look, I let everybody into Disney. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Hey, bro. Go get him. I'm coming back again and going to Disney. Don't, don't get in there, bro. I found my sword! Handle it carefully. Hey, how's it going, hey, bro? Can, can, I, get, get, can I get in now? Do you have a silver monkey? Uh, okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Right now. 
would you hold this stick of dynamite? <laughs> <laughs> Samantha, Samantha, Samantha. I'm trying to just, I'm trying to get the, the periscope right here. I can feel it. We're gonna get married. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's just our third date, but I feel it like right here in my third eye. Uh, so Did the, you feel that? So the big dipper is out. <laughs> you don't have to get uncomfortable, okay? It's the spirits, they're trying to tell us. So there's an Aquarius cluster yes, over here. I'm an Aquarius! You're a Gemini, right? We're a perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the stars are are telling me up in the sky yeah. that um, it's not gonna work out. Uh, no, no, no! Look at our faces in the stars. It's you smiling at me while I walk down the aisle with our three children because mm. we're gonna get pregnant before marriage. Mm -hmm. Triplets. <laughs> <laughs> that was very descript. <laughs> there was a time when I knew things would be different in life. When I knew that my life wasn't predetermined, but I actually controlled my own fate. When that happened, everything just opened up. <laughs> Hold on. That's why I dip. Because <laughs> I predetermined my own fate. I want my jaw to fall out. <laughs> I want to go through reconstructive surgery. Because I want to be in one of those truth commercials. <laughs> you know the ones I'm talking about, sponsored by Tobacco Free Florida. <laughs> yeah. Figured this is the quickest way. I could smoke for 40 years, nothing might happen. If I put a bunch of dip in my mouth, hold on. <laughs> you just might get there a little bit quicker. Yeah. I love this bathroom. <laughs> Maxwell, 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 we're going to get there. We're going to get there. It's okay. We're going to be there as soon as humanly possible. <gasps> Mom, Maxwell, can we just stop for a second and just stop somewhere that has Wi-Fi? And There's something right? on your face. There's something. Oh my God, Mom! 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 I can't anymore. Okay. You are 14 years old. I can wipe the lips of my 14-year-old boy's face, and it's not weird. Mom, the key word there is teen. Fourteen. I'm not a child anymore. I'm a teen. Oh, you got something in your teeth. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. You gotta watch how you eat the cake. Were you eating monkey bread? What the hell? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I just, 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 just pull up next to a McDonald's for like five minutes, okay? I just, if you would. You have a scratch? A little bit. You know, just a little scratch. <laughs> shouldn't have put on the off bug spray before we got in the car. Because I just tasted all of it. <laughs> oh, take a look at it. You got a piece of no, jelly no, on it. <laughs> I got it. Thank you, Mom. That's cool. <laughs> I just 
just want to make you proud. You are. I am. You are. Don't make me cry. I'm sorry, but you see, when I was going to marry Penelope, I, I just figured that, you know, you weren't going to be very approving of this, but you happen to be very approving, which kind of ruins my plan. <laughs> I really wanted to disappoint you. <laughs> As your mother, only one bitch can wear a dress in this house. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> okay, Mom. You're, I'm disapproving. Of what, I didn't know your dress buttoned down the front. <laughs> it's oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Hold on. It's my breakaway spanks. <laughs> Every lady has them. I know. They're helpful. Hold on. That's right. I'm going sans eye patch. <laughs> sans eye patch? Yes. Fine. And glass eyeball. Well, let me look at you with both eyes. <laughs> I don't care what your mother says. You tell her that I like you just the way you are. You wear those dresses. And you wear those breakaway specs. And you keep that eyeball covered. That's only for me to see when we're in the privacy of our own bedroom. Penelope. <laughs> You've never talked to me like that before. I'm trying to be more forceful because apparently your parents wear all the pants, even though one of them wears dresses. Why are you going to be taking me to a cave next week? Reasons. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm a general contractor. I build things. And I have no anxiety about power tools. <laughs> At all. You plug them in and then electricity comes out of the wall. It's good enough to, like, kill a wild bear or start a car or take down an electrical tower and start a fire or, you know, kill another cat or, like, kill a man or, like, Get you just juggling stuff in your skeleton so all the electricity hits all of your ribs at the same time. But I got no anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you blowing on the face. <laughs> and it's just adding to the anxiety you're giving me because it's not like you have germs in your mouth. Germs that could like get up all in my mouth and then kill a man or a wild bear or get down into your sternum and then do things with the part of your body that holds your ribs together in case you get electrocuted. I hear you hissing right next to your face. <laughs> Sound next to my face. <laughs> <laughs>